Hi. So what was up with that whole month of nonsense in January, huh? Putting up reviews constantly and like every other day. Well, uh, here's what happened. So I spent a lot of December thinking about whether or not I wanted to do this thing. And at the end of December, I decided, well, I've got a week off and I do have visitors, but whatever. Uh, to hell with them. I'll think about videos. And uh, I would have done this in December, except I had visitors in December. And December was more important to me than January. So what I wanted to do was just see what happens if I go balls out and just try to make as many re review videos and just review videos as possible for one month and uh, see if I hit like 31. I didn't. I hit uh, 27 if you count January as going up to the 33rd. But um, I, uh, I was like, okay, well, <clears throat> let's just see how this goes and uh, try to make a learning experience of it. And uh, holy crap, when you have other things in your life, like work and podcasts that you host and edit, and internet radio things that you host every Sunday, uh, and you're trying to do this many videos, it becomes very difficult, especially with having a job in the middle of all of it. So uh, it's very hard. And I, I hit a lot of walls, and I had like zero time to myself in January, aside from like a weekend or two. Uh, and most of my weekends, I was pretty much devoting entirely to making videos. Um, and man, like, with all due respect, I know there are a lot of people who say making videos about toys is easy, or this is nothing like real work. Please find a whole lot of bliss in your ignorance, because at least for the way I do stuff, hell no! That was real difficult. Um, and I was trying, like, I was trying not to do too many, like, cheapo, easy, quick vids, uh, in, inside doing, like, 25 to 30 videos in the space of a month just to see like what it'd be like now I want to do things the way I usually do them like full reviews of figures uh, all scripted and etc and uh, yeah man I made it pretty close to one a day um, and it was about the middle of the month where it's when when I was back at work and everything was piling up that wasn't videos where I was like all right I'm starting to fall backwards and it was up until about the 25th where I still felt like maybe I can hit 30 and then uh, it became pretty clear I couldn't but um, it seems a lot of folks were enjoying the the dose of content uh, I was a little bit perturbed by the one or two comments I got saying damn I'm glad you're back to doing daily reviews like back in the old days because I never did daily reviews back in the old days you're mistaken but uh, I appreciate the uh, the, the nostalgia goggles you have on making me sound like I was more effective than I actually was back in 08-09. Um, so I came out of this uh, wanting to take lessons, and I did. Uh, I feel pretty confident that when I get back in the groove, uh, I could probably hit, you know, like two or three videos a week. Uh, mixing in other content like V-Builds and these things. Because now I, I wanted to kick myself in the ass in January as a New Year's resolution kind of thing and just see what would happen. And uh, I feel like my ass got kicked by my own foot pretty decently, if not quite as hard as I would have liked. But learned a lot of good stuff, and uh, I, I feel like uh, it was an uplifting experience for me. Um, what else is going on here? Well, I was trying to number it out, right? And I was like, all right, generally I seem to get, like, give or take, spreading it all as evenly as possible. Uh, I seem to get out a video, like, once every two weeks, on average, uh, over the course of a given year right now. So I figured, well, as long as I can get at least 26 videos out in January, then I will have hit, like, my entire yearly average in one month. And I did. So, uh, I guess uh, all I've really got to say to end this vlog is, see you guys in 2015!